There are two methods for ejecting the Falcon full arch. The first method is using this wooden dowel and basically you just place it in, a, in the pallet area and then you strike with uh, the rubber mallet. However, for that to occur, you got to have the pallet area free and clear. Okay, we have this new tool here for the uh, for the Falcon full arch. And the nice thing about this tool is you don't have to clear the pallet area. Here's a, here's a model that was just poured. And uh, I'll show you how, as you can see there, that area has not been cleared. And uh, here's another one, as you can see the whole, the whole pallet area is uh, obviously um, hadn't been cleared up. So the beauty about using this tool is that you can actually clear it up. Uh, you can eject it without clearing it up. So before we could do that, let's uh, eject one side. And uh, what you have to do is you have to make sure that these rails here are clear. Okay. <clears throat> so what you have to do basically is place the, the rail right over and then push it down. Make sure it's all the way in as such. And make sure to not remove this because this is what's going to uh, push it out. As you can see here, it's not quite seated. So you have to make sure to make sure that it's properly seated. There you go. As you can see, this whole area there is fully seated. Okay, so that's how you have it. And then you place it on a sturdy surface and you give it a good tap, not too hard, but just uh, a brisk tap. As you can see, it's already come up a little bit, but you, you can actually tap it a little harder than that because it needs to come out. There you go. There you, as you can see it's right there. It's separate now. And we didn't have to clear up this area. What you do at that point, at this point, just go ahead and you can remove these, uh, actually just push it through. And make sure to wash the dyes. Don't try to reseat this because there's all kinds of uh, debris stone debris, stone dust that can get in there and that's gonna affect the fitment of your dies. Okay, at this point you can go ahead and, uh, and wash it. Let's do the other. What you might wanna also do is to clear this area up. Just remove any stone that's sitting there Okay, got to be clear. There you go. Okay, again, you place this arc that you see here, that the rail, that ledge there. Put the front first and then the back. Once it's kind of even there, just push it in. Because you always want it to be sitting properly right here okay once you have that again a nice steady surface and uh, we've got a little bit of stone here that's kind of getting in the way just make sure you get clear that up And you hold that firmly and give it a good tap. As you can see, there, it's been separated. And just push out the bottom covers. Again, make sure you wash this, section it, wash it. Don't push it back in because things will get stuck in there and then your dice won't seat properly. 
See, now you can eject it without having to clear out this area. And you can only do it with this tool here.